good afternoon students welcome to your mathematics class in this class you will learn about the chapter simple equations today i will discuss how to solve an equation by using trial and error method now solving an equation means finding its root or solution of the equation what do you mean by solution of an equation any number which can be used to replace the variable in an equation making the equation true is called the solution or the root of an equation now in this trial and error method we will follow certain step to find the solution of an equation first we find the values of left hand side and right hand side of the given equation for different values of the variable after that the value of the variable for which left hand side is equal to right hand side is the solution or the root of the equation that means which value satisfies both side of the equation that is left hand side and right hand side of the equation that value is called the solution of the equation now when we solve the equations by using trial and error method first we evaluate the left hand side and right hand side of each of the given equations for some values of x and continue to give new values till the left hand side becomes equals to the right hand side now let us do one example that solve the equation 5p plus 2 equal to 17 by using trial and error method here the given equation is 5p plus 2 equal to 17 so we have left hand side is equal to 5p plus 2 and right hand side equal to 17 now we will make a table here the table shows in the first column table shows the value of the variable here the variable is p so we write here p first then left hand side is equal to 5p plus 2 right hand side is given here 17 and the last column we will write is left hand side equals to right hand side means for which value of p the left hand side and right hand side both will come equal then we if if both are coming equal then we write yes if both are not coming equal then we write no so for which value of p left hand side and right hand side both are coming same that value will be the solution of the given equations so let us check now here we can see that right hand side is 17 which is a natural number that means it is a positive number and also in the left hand side 5p plus 2 both the numbers both the terms are positive so uh, so we will take uh, so here p will be a also so p will will be also a natural number so let's start with the value of p as 1 so when p equals to 1 the left hand side becomes 5 p means 5 multiplied by 1 plus 2 so 5 plus 2 means 7 and right hand side it is already 7 that is fixed so it will be remain same that is 17 so here we can see that 17 is not equals to 7 7 uh, is not equal to 17 so we write here no that means left hand side is not equals to right hand side now next we will put for p equals to 2 in the left hand side 5 into 2 plus 2 that means 5 2 is a 10 plus 2 it will come 12 and here right hand side is 17 again both the sides are not equal so here we will say that is no that means left hand side is not equals to right hand side now we will put for p equals to 3 5 multiplied by 3 plus 2 it is coming 15 plus 2 means 17 also right hand side is 17 both the sides are coming equal for p equals to 3 so here we write yes that means for p equals to 3 here left hand side and right hand side both uh, both sides are giving the same value so we can write that p equals to 3 is the solution of the given equation so here we can write since left hand side is equals to right hand side for p equals to 3 so p equals to 3 is the required is the required solution of the given equation
equation. So in this way, we can um, try the questions, whatever is uh, question given. Let us do another example. Solve the equation 3x minus 14 equals to 4. So here the uh, given equation is 3x minus 14 equals to 4. So we have left hand side equals to 3x minus 14 and right hand side equals to 4. Now from this equations from right hand side it is very clear that the right hand side equal to 4 which is greater than 0 and which is a natural number. Also in the left hand side that means left hand side 3x minus 14 is greater than 0 because right hand side is greater than 0. So that means left hand side is greater than 0. Now uh, which which means that 3x is greater than 14. So we will choose such value of x for which the product uh, for which the 3x will be greater than 14. So if we choose x is equals to 1 then 3 1s are 3 which is not greater than 14. So we will not take that value. If we take 2 it is coming 6. If we take 3 it is coming 9. If we take 4 it is coming 3 4s are 12. Again it is less than 14. So if you take 5 then it is coming 15 which is greater than 14. So here we will start our calculations from 5. So if you take x is equals to 5 then left hand side is equal to 3 into 5 minus 14. It is coming 15 minus 14 means 1 and right hand side is 4. So both the sides are not equal. So here we will write no. That means this is not the solution of the given equation. Now we choose x equals to 6. Then it becomes 3 multiplied by 6 minus 14. We know 3, 6 are 18. 18 minus 14 it is coming here 4. So right hand side is also 4. So both the sides are coming equal when x equal to 6. That means we will write here uh, yes. So that means for x equals to 6. The value of both the, uh, the value of left hand side and right hand side both are coming same. So we can say that left hand side equals to right hand side for x equal to 6. Hence x equal to 6 is the solution of the given equation. Now let's see another example. The given equation is here x by 3 plus 8 is equals to 11. So here left hand side is equal to x by 3 plus 8 and right hand side equals to 11. Which means that here right hand side is greater than 0 and which is a natural number. So here left hand side will be also uh, greater than 0 as both the terms are here positive. So here left hand side will be also greater than 0. And here we can see that here 8 is natural number. So x by 3 will be also a natural number because the right hand side is a natural number so we take the value of x here as a multiple of 3 because here the denominator is 3 so we take the values of x here as a multiple of 3 so let's start with first we put x equals to 3 here if we put x equal to 3 then left hand side becomes 3 by 3 plus 8 means 1 plus 8 which is coming 9 which is not equals to 11 so we can say that x equal to 3 is not the solution of the given equation. So we write here no because both the sides are not coming same. Now if we choose x equal to 6 as we take here multiple of 3 the value of x. So we choose here x equal to 6 then it becomes 6 by 3. So plus 8 that means 2 plus 8 it is coming 10 which is not equals to 11. So again we write here no. Then again we choose the next multiple of 3 as x equal to 3. So, sorry, here we choose x equals to 9. So 9 by 3 plus 8. Here 3, 3 is a 9. So we get here 3 plus 8 which is coming here 11. And right hand side is already 11. So both the sides are coming here same. So here we write yes. So for x equals to 9. The left value of left hand side and right hand side both are same. So we can say that left hand side equal to right hand side for x equals to 9. Hence x equal to 9 is the solution of the given equation.
Now, in this way, you can try some other questions by using trial and error method. But you can see that in this method, this method is very time consuming. We are not getting the solutions directly by putting one value of the variables. We have to think lots of number. After that, we are getting the solution, which is very time consuming. So, we will try for any another method to solve this type of equations that we will do in our next class. So, you will try the questions given in your book with this method. Mm, I hope all of you understood this method. Thank you and have a nice day.